In this problem, we're told a simple pendulum oscillates with an amplitude of 10 degrees. What fraction of the time does it spend between positive 5 degrees and negative 5 degrees? Assume simple harmonic motion. So imagine this right here is our pendulum, right? And so what we're trying to do is imagine if this gap, right, is 5 degrees, and then these dark lines are just going to be 10 degrees, right? So this is the amplitude, and it's got to stay within this, uh, this distance, right? And so what we're trying to do is find how long it spends in between this part, right? So rotating in this part, right? So how do we find that? So the way we're going to find this is first by knowing this formula which is theta is equal to uh, theta max, right? So the maximum or the amplitude essentially, which in this case is 10 degrees, right? Multiplied by the sine of two pi t all over uh, the period, right? So this is the formula we're gonna use to solve this and you'll, you'll see how it works in a second, right? So what you wanna do is know, right? So what we're gonna try and find here is the time it spends or the time it hits this point, right? So we know at the beginning it's at zero, right? But we're gonna assume Right, we're gonna try and find how long it spends in between this, right? So if we can find that, we're gonna be able to solve for the rest, right? So we know at this point is five degrees, right? This length is five degrees, okay? Or not length, but the angle it turns. So theta in this case is five degrees, okay? So just keep this in mind. So five is gonna be equal to 10 times the sine of two pi t all over t. So keep in mind this is all over, right? So yeah, so what we can do is divide by 10. So essentially you're gonna get one half is equal to the sine of two pi t, let me actually do it like this, two pi t all over t, right? So what we're gonna wanna do is find what uh, t equals, so the time, right? We're trying to solve for time in term in a uh, relationship with uh, the period, okay? So we know sine, right? You can take the arc sine to find one half, right? So if I take the arc sine of both sides, that's gonna cancel out this, and then you're gonna get the arc sine of one half. The arc sine of one half, you should know is just pi over six. So pi over six is equal to two pi t all over t. Right, so what you're going to want to go ahead and do, right, is we want to find t, right? We're solving for t. So if you multiply both sides by, or we're solving for this one, this t right here, right? So multiply both sides by t, and then you're going to want to go ahead and divide by 2 pi. Right, so t pi over 6 equals 2 pi t. So if you go ahead and divide by 2 pi, you're going to get t is equal to, the pi's will cancel, and then you multiply this by 2. So it's just t over 12. All right, so what does this mean? So basically the time it's gonna spend is the period divided by 12, right, in this interval, okay? And so keep in mind how many times it's in this interval, right? So if it goes like this, it's in this interval once, and then it goes here, it's back in it, right? And then it goes through it again, right? So we're saying the interval is this one, this is an interval, and this is an interval. So we're trying to count the number of times it goes into those. So one, right, and then two now, right, because it went back, now it's in a new one, three, and then it goes back all the way four. So basically it's four times this, right, because it's in this interval four times. So you just wanna multiply by four. Right, so basically do four times uh, the period divided by 12. And if you go ahead and do this, you're gonna get it equals, this is just gonna cancel and make it one third. So T over three. So essentially, right, basically the, the fraction of the time in terms of a ratio in terms of the period is just one third. So basically one third of the period, we don't know what it is, but it spends basically one third of the time in this interval. But yeah, so um, basically your answer is T over three or one third. Uh, but yeah, so this is gonna be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.